Hello everybody, welcome to the Seatown Domination Gameplay brought to you by Combatman22. Now this video was recommended to me by one of my friends, I'd like to give a shout out. His name is BXBaseball29, so you know guys, check him out uh, if you guys like his YouTube channel, if you guys like playing in some drop zone, you know, these guys are the ones to play with, they're really good at it. Uh, so enjoy this video while we talk a little bit about lag compensation. You know, this is a touchy topic. A lot of people enjoy it, it helps them. A lot of people hate it, it does not help them, it hinders them, it makes them really angry, and I am one of those people. You know, uh, the lag compensation has been around since the 90s. It really, really affects people with good connection. It makes it so that there is a level playing field. And how that works is the people with goodwill Wi-Fi connection is what I call it. Thank you, BC99, for that little quote there. Goodwill Wi-Fi connection. It means they have crap internet. They need to get new ones. They are the ones benefiting off of this lag compensation is a result of the host connection. Now, what... But what Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 has done is made a new uh, system for connecting to hosts and all that. It's made it so that you connect more likely to people in your region, people around you, players around you. And so they think, oh, that'll, that'll discredit the lag compensation. That'll get rid of it all. No, that does not get rid of it all. It doesn't matter with lag compensation right now if you're playing with someone 3,000 miles away or if you're playing someone with 10 miles away. Why is that? Well... It all depends on where you live, the type of connection you keep getting with people, and the type of connections I'm getting with the hosts are horrific. They are horrible. I'm getting lag compensation like crazy out the butt, and it's just really frustrating more than anything. The way lag compensation works is, instead of picking the best host possible so everyone plays on great connection, the uh, system, what I call the system, picks the average of the host so say i'll put it in money terms so it's easy to understand because i don't know anything about technology i'm stupid like that but say you have a hundred dollars and that would be the highest host connection so there's a couple guys in your lobby with 60 50 50 50 then there's a guy with 10 or a dollar that's what i call the goodwill wi-fi connection now out of all those it'll pick the average so you take off uh, the guy with the great connection, guy with the bad connection, guy with the medium, medium, medium. Okay, it ends up that you're playing with a medium connection host, which can be good. You know, it, it can be for the lesser uh, goodwill Wi-Fi connection people, but it really doesn't help anybody with good connection. It makes it bad for them. Uh, it slows everything down, so it's not good. The speed isn't as good as they're used to playing on. Therefore, lag compensation is implemented. Now, pretend like you have a hundred dollars again now this is what i deal with all the time i'd have about 80 bucks that's about my connection it's decent uh but pretend you have a guy with 80 bucks say that's me then the rest of your teammates or the rest of your party or the rest of the people you're playing with in that lobby say they all have goodwill wi-fi connection well it's gonna count you out it'll count out the bottom goodwill wi-fi connection then you're just picking the host between a bunch of goodwill wi-fi connections so you're going to get lag compensation no matter what. Now, what really affects it is if, say, you don't get to play with someone in your region and you're playing with someone 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 miles away. Well, you know, you're going to get really bad lag compensation, and that's what I like to call some bullshit. I hate that. It makes me mad. I hate lag compensation, especially when you go around a corner and you're already dead. That's what lag compensation is. It's not literally where you start lagging. That is called the rubber band, rubber band effect. That means you're sitting right by this door right here. You go up the stairs, all of a sudden you're out the window. That's what lag is. Lag compensation is a delay, a 0.5 second to 2 second delay between what you see versus what the host sees. So say he just went through that doorway. You see right there, he goes through that doorway, kills that guy right there. Now that guy may not see it the same way he did. He saw it shooting that guy, uh, all that kind of stuff. But the guy over there that just got killed would have seen it as if he was already around the corner. That's lag compensation. If Combat Man was the host, he sees what actually happens versus what the players think happens that he just killed. So, you know, it's it's really playing mind games with you. That's all it is. It's really frustrating because how are you supposed to get a kill if you can't see anybody if you get killed around the corner in two seconds? I don't understand how you're really supposed to do that. So, you know, lag compensation, it it helps the wi goodwill Wi-Fi connection. It hurts against the really great connection, pristine connection people, you know, and especially if you get a bad host with goodwill connection, that's three, four, five thousand miles away. It really doesn't help the cause. And I think Modern Warfare 3 
really just needs to fix this stuff. It's really annoying. Now, the Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty engines, they, they run this program called the Rewind, Rewind Time Comp. And basically how this works is the host records the video and then it sends it back, it replays it for everyone else. And that's uh, that's that happens in seconds, just seconds. Now, if you have a really bad connection, that takes longer. That's where the lag compensation comes into effect. You know, it doesn't help anybody except for the people with bad connection. I don't think that's right. I think with people with good connection that pay for good quality connection should be the ones getting the pristine, good, non-lag compensation, you know. That's just my opinion. They implemented a new thing. Good for them, but, you know, we should probably change that before we piss too many people off. Now, lag compensation, it basically occurs. You're getting killed around corners. You're getting shot with bullets that aren't there. Uh, you're shooting at a guy for 10 minutes. He kills you in one shot. That's lag compensation. It's a two-second delay at most average of second, but it's that much delay. That's a lot of delay between what happens actually and what you see happens. So, you know, you guys tell me about what your worst lag compensation moment was in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this. Thank you, Combat Man, for submitting this. Thank you, Baseball, for telling me all about this, you know. You guys are great. Like, subscribe. Uh, submit a video if you have lag compensation. It all helps me out. And thank you guys for 300 subscribers right now. I know that's not a lot to a lot of people, but I reached 300. Uh, it makes me really proud. I'm just really excited. I'm bringing out more videos for you guys. I've got a unique one going to be coming out after this. Uh, it's, it's a bit strange, a little bit of a lag glitch. I don't really know. But, you know, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. He got a great, great job there uh thanks everybody combat man 22 great job everyone i hope this live compensation video helped you out have a great day on the daily i am hit a tater